Breaking news, Pats Nation. The Kansas City Chiefs have made a strategic addition to their pass rush by acquiring edge rusher Joshua Uche from the New England Patriots for a sixth-round pick in the 2026 NFL Draft. This move gives the Chiefs an added layer of depth on their defensive front, especially as they manage injuries, with starting edge rusher Mike Dana among those sidelined recently. While Dana has been a solid part of Kansas City's defense, his impact in pressuring quarterbacks has been limited, managing just nine pressures and a low pass rush win rate of 4% this season. In contrast, Uche, though not a dominant run stopper, excels in creating pressure on passing downs. In limited snaps with New England, Uche has posted an impressive 24% pass rush win rate and 13 pressures, demonstrating his ability to disrupt the pocket effectively. Uche's limitations as a run defender have kept him from becoming an every-down player, which is partly why the Patriots were open to moving him. However, Kansas City's defense ranks third in the league against the run, allowing them to rotate Uche into passing situations without compromising their strength on early downs. For Kansas City, this acquisition represents a low-risk, high-reward opportunity, as they only parted with a late-round pick to bring in a player with proven pass-rushing capabilities, potentially making a difference in crucial situations down the stretch as they aim for their third Super Bowl appearance in four years. From the Patriots' perspective, Uche's departure marks the end of a once-promising tenure with the team. A second-round pick in 2020, Uche showed potential with an 11.5 sack season in 2022, but his production has since declined. Despite being seen as a character player, Uche's inconsistency and limited role due to his run defense struggles made him expendable. Although Uche had re-signed with the Patriots on a modest one-year deal this offseason, it was clear he had not developed into the consistent force they had hoped for on their defensive line. Trading him now allows the Patriots to continue adjusting their roster. But the sixth-round pick they receive feels like minimal compensation for a player who once showed flashes of being a defensive asset. While Kansas City gains valuable depth, New England sacrifices a bit of their pass-rushing capability for future flexibility, albeit at a relatively low return. This trade is emblematic of where each team currently stands. The Chiefs are fortifying their roster for a deep playoff run, while the Patriots are looking ahead, attempting to extract long-term value from assets that no longer fit their immediate plans. Go Pats!